if the parabola is symmetric about y axis we have two parabola one is upward parabola another one is downward parabola directrix is x is equal to minus 5 means directrix lies on the negative side of x axis so first we need to find out the orientation whether it is an upward or downward parabola based on the symmetric axis for downward parabola focus will be on negative y axis and directrix will be on positive y axis hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is yashruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysuru so we are at the revision session of chapter wise question and answer in this session i'll be taking the questions related to the chapter parabola so from the chapter parabola you may expect one mark question two mark question or in the form of three mark question so let's see the distribution of marks from the chapter parabola so you might get a question of one marks and one three mark question so total marks you may get four marks from this chapter or they will give you one two mark question and one three marks question total five marks from this chapter so that is you may expect four to five marks from this chapter that will be in the form of one plus three or two plus three so one one mark along with one three mark question or one two mark and one three mark question so let's see one mark question find the length of latest rectum of the parabola 3x square plus 8y is equal to 0 so here the equation of the parabola is given so let us write this in standard form so we have four types of standard equation that is y square is equal to 4ax y square is equal to minus 4ax x square is equal to 4ay x square is equal to minus 4ay So these are the four standard equations of parabola. Let's see now. Here we get three x square is equal to minus eight y, or x square is equal to minus eight by three y. Clearly, you can see this is of the type four, that is the downward parabola. So here I can take four a is equal to eight by three. So we know that the length of latest rectum. Is given by four a. Hence, we can take the length of latest rectum is equal to eight by three. Next one, if the length of latest rectum of the parabola x square is equal to four k by is eight, find the value of k. So the length of latest rectum is given by four a. So here the length of latest rectum is four a, and they have given this is equal to eight. And here we can find the value of a here. So here, four a is equal to four k. From this equation, I can write four a is equal to four k. So therefore, I can replace four a by four k. So this can be written as four k. Now here, I need k. So if I need k, it is eight divided by four. Four ones are four twos are. So k is equal to two is the answer. Let's see the two mark question. Find the equation of parabola with focus zero comma minus three and directrix y is equal to minus three. Look at the x axis and y axis. If the focus is zero comma minus three, it is zero comma minus three somewhere here. So then it will be clearly a downward parabola. And the directrix is given. It is y is equal to three. Hence I can write by given. I can write the value of y is equal to three. since it's a downward parabola equation or the required equation will be in the form of required equation is x square is equal to minus 4ay so this implies x square is equal to minus 4 into 3 that is minus 12y next question Find the focus and equation of the directrix of the parabola x square minus sixteen y is equal to zero. So let us write x square is equal to sixteen y. So this is clearly of the form x square is equal to four a by. Comparing these two equation, we get four a is equal to sixteen. So a is equal to four. Now we need to find out the focus since clearly from this equation we can see it's an upward parabola. So 
So for an upward parabola, the focus lie on the positive x-axis. So therefore, I can write the focus as 0, 4. And we need to write out the directrix or the equation of the directrix. So therefore, equation of directrix is y is equal to minus 4 because it lies on the negative y-axis. Hence, the equation is y is equal to minus 4. Next one, find the equation of parabola given vertex is 0, 0 and directrix is x is equal to minus 5. If directrix is x is equal to minus 5 means directrix lies on the negative side of x axis. Hence, the focus must be on the positive side of the x axis. That is the given parabola is a right handed parabola. So, the required equation here I can write it as the required equation will be in the form of y square is equal to 4ax. So, here given the value of a is equal to 5. Even though it is minus 5, that means it is a distance 5, but it, since it is on the negative side of x axis, we write it as minus 5. So, I can write here y square is equal to 4 into 5 into x. So, therefore, y square is equal to 20x. Next question, find the focus equation of directrix and coordinates of ends of latest rectum of the parabola y square is equal to 8x. So here we have y square is equal to 8x. So I can write 4a is equal to 8. This implies a is equal to 2. Now let's write the characteristics. Here we have focus equation of directrix. ends of latus rectum. Now clearly from this equation we can say it is a right handed parabola. So here if it is right handed parabola the focus lies on x axis. So therefore this can be written as 2 comma 0. And directrix will lie on the negative side of x axis with the equation minus 2. Next, we need to find out the ends of latest rectum. So, if my parabola is like this, somewhere here is my focus. So, this is the ends of latest rectum that is a comma 2a and a comma minus 2a. So, these are the ends of latest rectum. So, according to this, I can write this as 2 comma 4 and 2 comma minus 4. So, these are the coordinates of the ends of latus rectum. Next one, find the focus, equation of directrix and length of latus rectum for the parabola x square plus 16y is equal to 0. So, here convert this equation in the form of x square is equal to minus 16y. Now, this is of the form x square is equal to minus 4ay. Clearly, we can say this is a downward parabola. For downward parabola, focus will be on negative y-axis and directrix will be on positive y-axis. So, from here I can take 4a is equal to 16. This implies a is equal to 4. Now, let us write the focus focus will be of the form 0 comma minus a. So, therefore, it is 0 comma minus 4. Next, equation of directrix will be of the form y is equal to a. So, this implies y is equal to 4. Next is length of latus rectum. So, length of latus rectum is equal to 4a which is equal to 16. Next question, find the equation of parabola given that vertex is 0 comma 0 and passing through the point 1 by 2 comma 2 and symmetric about y axis. So, if the parabola is symmetric about y axis, we have two parabola. One is upward parabola, another one is downward parabola. But Clearly, they have given the parabola is passing through a point 1 by 2 comma 2. So, both are x is positive, y is positive. That means it is touching some point 
1 by 2 comma 2. So, since the point is on the first quadrant, clearly we can say it is an upward parabola. So, given parabola is of the form is of the form x square is equal to 4ay. Next, since it is passing through the point, since it is passing through one by two comma two, we can substitute x is equal to one by two, y is equal to two. So this becomes one by two whole square is equal to four a into two. So now we can write this as one by four is equal to eight a, or we can write a is equal to 1 divided by 8 fours are 32. Now we got the value of a is equal to 1 by 32. Substitute this equation x square is equal to 4ay. So this implies x square is equal to 4 into a is 1 by 32 into y 4 ones are 4 eights are. So we get x square is equal to 1 by 8y or we can write it as 8x square is equal to y. So first we need to find out the orientation whether it is an upward or downward parabola based on the symmetric axis. Now from the point given since it lies on the first quadrant it is clear that the parabola touches the point at first quadrant. So here upward parabola lies on first quadrant hence the given parabola will be of the form x square is equal to 4ay. So since it is passing through the given point we can substitute the value of x and y in the form of 1 by 2 and 2. So by then we can get the value of a so we can find the standard equation of the parabola. Next one find the equation of parabola given that vertex is 0 comma 0 and passing through the point p minus 1 comma minus 3 and symmetric about y axis. So here is again we need to see the orientation here also they have given it is symmetric along y axis. So either it will be an upward parabola or it will be a downward parabola. But here is a point given minus 1 comma minus 3. Minus 1 comma minus 3 means somewhere in the third quadrant. So upward parabola cannot touch the point in the third quadrant. So the given parabola is downward parabola. So therefore given parabola is of the form x square is equal to minus 4ay. Now since it is passing through point 1 comma minus 3, so we can take x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 3. So this implies here x is equal to 1 is equal to minus 4a into y is minus 3. So we can take y is equal to minus 3. So we get a value as 1 is equal to 12a or a is equal to 1 by 12. Now substitute the value of a in the given equation x square is equal to minus 4ay. So therefore x square is equal to minus 4 into 1 by 12 into y. So this implies 3 into x square is equal to minus y or I can write it as 3x square plus y is equal to 0. So this is the required equation of the given parabola. These are the question you may expect from the chapter parabola. So by looking at the standard equation, you are supposed to write the features that is focus, directories, latest rectum, equations related to the coordinates of latest rectum or parabola or they will give you any one of the features of the standard parabolas and you have to frame the equations. We will meet you in the next session with the new chapter. Until then keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.